How's it going guys? My name is Steven French and this is finally the start of my programming tutorial series or I guess a cloning tutorial series. Now we won't be doing any coding today. There's a few things we got to take care of first. First, you need to install GameMaker. GameMaker is a free development tool that I find to be very useful, especially when making 2D games. I have used Unity and some other tools as well, but I tend to stick to GameMaker just because it's easy and it does everything that I need it to do. So as we will not be doing any coding today, I will show you how to find GameMaker, how to install it, how to purchase any of its features or functionality if you wish, and I'll also point you in some right directions for learning some basics of code. I will not be teaching how to code for absolute beginners, although if you are a beginner and you just follow along do exactly what I do, you'll still learn something and it'll be a good way to get started. But I would suggest you get a little bit of background information and check out some channels that I'll link to at the end of the video. And it would make it a lot easier for you guys if you were to learn a little bit about GameMaker first, follow some tutorial, follow some, follow some tutorials that are already out there. I don't want to do what all the other channels have already done and teach you how to program from scratch, because there's some very good tutorials out there. They taught me how to learn, and I really don't want to take views from that. So feel free to follow along with me blindly. You will at least figure out how it works to some degree, or help those channels out a little bit. Watch some of their introduction videos, and then come back when you know a little bit more about GameMaker, about programming although you really don't need that much information to get started with my tutorial series. So let's find GameMaker first. Let's click over to here. Pretty simple, as with everything else, you can find it right on Google. So, whoa! All right, we're gonna learn how to type. All right, well this is not my keyboard. My keyboard is clicky as hell, so I'm using a different keyboard, that is my excuse. Game Maker Download. Are you serious? Are you? Sure, sure, we're gonna go here. Um, I'm sure either link is gonna work just fine. So, Game Maker Studios is what we'll be using. As I said, it is free, but there are some additional things that you can buy and you might wanna look into it. So let's just look at what they have first. You can download it for free right on the last page or right here. Let's look at buy and see what options there are. Good. So for the free version, there are some limitations. I believe you can only have 20 instances or 20 sprites or 20 objects in the game. I'm not really sure. It's a, a big enough number that you can finish some small projects. I don't know if you'll be able to finish all of my projects with the starter one, but if it just says that you need to use fewer things, just use fewer things and it just won't, it'll be fine. Don't worry about that. But if you are serious about getting into this, Game Maker is already pretty cheap and you can find really good deals all the time. So Game Maker Professional gives you full access to what GameMaker provides. The only thing that you really can't do is export to all of the other things that you can purchase. So with GameMaker Studio, there's no limitation as to how many objects you can make. You can really do whatever you want and, and fully utilize GameMaker's power. GameMaker right now, professional is $75, but there are deals all the time. Keep an eye out on Groupon or uh, Humble Bumble, things like that. When I first got GameMaker, I got it on sale for, I think, only $50. and that gave me pretty good access to what I needed to do, and I had a lot of fun learning from that. The only things that I have purchased since is I did purchase the HTML5 export so I can release my games to a URL browser. That's something we'll talk about way later in the series. And I also bought the Android export. Now that I did not spend $150 on. That was the reason that I say to keep an eye on Humble Bumble. I got the Android export, I got another copy of Game Maker Studios Professional, I got a crap ton of games with their source code and a bunch of other information and it was only $12. So that's already a $225 value for 12 bucks plus a whole bunch of game content. So definitely keep an eye out for some sales. It's really cheap to get started with this. Yeah. So that's really all you need to know for now. When you get Game Maker, it looks a bit like this. Once it once it pops up, we'll get there. Come on. All right. So we do have Game Maker. We have uh, some projects that I have been working on, but we'll just jump over to Space Invaders because this is what the next tutorial, or rather, this is what the first tutorial will be, is on Space Invaders. I made this game a few weeks ago on Twitch. You might have seen it there. If not, I've cleaned up the code a bunch and I'm ready to start the tutorial. I should have the first video out by tomorrow. But with Game Maker, let me just show you quick what you can do. That takes a little bit. Alright, so we have Space Invaders, and it plays just like Space Invaders. 
you you move, you dodge, you shoot, you can break your own barricades. The uh, the art I'm sure will change a little bit by the time we get around to the tutorial, but it is Space Invaders, and let's just yeah, Space Invaders. So stick around, you will learn how to make Space Invaders through this, and then we will go on to clone so many other games, ranging through arcade games to early console games, maybe mobile games, and just kind of have fun learning how to make other games so we don't have to think of the ideas. So again, I would really encourage you to find some tutorials. Personally, my favorites are people like Heartbeast, RM2K Dev, Sean Spaulding, and... Ha, I'm gonna do that one again. So some of my personal favorite YouTube channels for Learning Game Maker are Heartbeast, Sean Spaulding, RM2K Dev, and Real Tuts GML. Those four channels have taught me a lot, pretty much actually everything I know about Game Maker itself, although I did study some programming at Stony Brook. And there's one more thing. If you look up Heartbeast Game Maker book, Heartbeast book, sure. Game Maker language, we'll go to his studio page. So Heartbeast, Heartbeast or You Heartbeast on Twitch has made a Game Maker language book. I've purchased the book, I got the PDF copy. It's phenomenal. It teaches you very, very well. He's an amazing programmer, he's amazing with pixel art. You can learn a lot through his channel for both of those. So get that if you wish, get Game Maker, get ready to learn some programming, and look out for Space Invaders soon. So if you are interested in getting to know Game Maker and making some clones of classic games, then go ahead and download Game Maker, give some support to those other channels, check them out, learn a little bit of the basics of coding and the interface. If you want, grab Harpy's book, it's a super valuable tool, it'll teach you a lot about it that I'm probably not even going to be able to teach you. And then come back here and hopefully by the time you do that, the next video will be up. So we can start making Space Invaders soon. It should only take two to three parts and we'll be done with that. And that's it. If you want to learn any other games, if you have anything in mind, please drop it in the comments. What games should we make? What games should we look into? I actually have a really fun time doing this. I just pick up whatever game it is, I play the crap out of it, I learn all the mechanics, and then I die right into coding. All of the games that I make, I will be coding live on Twitch first, or at least the bulk of the code will be done on Twitch. So be sure to follow me there, and let's learn together. So this can be fun. Please like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Have a nice day.